The hair is back. The hair is back. The hair is back. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna shake up the neighborhood. <laughs> I just wanted to hop on the vlog real quick to live think out loud. I think I need to do this more often in my, I've just been thinking about my vlogs in general and like what I want this channel to be. And I think I started it very protective emotionally and not really getting into a lot of things emotionally. But right now it's the retrograde. And also I think my last video about leaving my dream job did really well in comparison to a lot of my old oh my god there's some fruit flies around here they just been in the house like they paying rent um but i don't know i think that video did well because it was probably the most fully authentic video i've posted on this channel so yeah i'm trying to be more open you know talk to y'all more not just you know putting pretty pictures on the screen and or just showing you what I'm doing. Um, having more of an open dialogue about like why I'm doing whatever I'm doing. So right now, just to give you some context, we are in my birthday weekend. It's me and my friend Sid's birthday weekend. Um, so you might see some footage from her birthday and from, I'm having a Moulin Rouge themed party tomorrow for my 30th birthday. Turning 30 is an interesting thing because I honestly feel like I've been 30 for the past few years. Like, this is not new. Like, <laughs> I feel like at least people, when I thought about like my idea of 30 and what being 30 would be like, um, I feel like I've been there for like the past few years. Um, and especially so now, I feel very settled. Um, still figuring some stuff out, but there's certain things, especially once I hang out with any teenagers or anything that I realize I do have figured out. And yeah, and career-wise, I'm taking a risk. I'm definitely in a new chapter for my career, but it's a calculated risk again. So I just feel so much gratitude right now. Um, I just feel a lot of gratitude um, for them and for all the friends I do still have. It's on. <laughs> Thinking about where I want myself to be this same time next year is an interesting thought and I can't help but to as I'm you know going into my birthday um really reflect on my first 30 years and what I want my next few years to look like I want to be touring more as a as a artist like as a painter as a illustrator um having more exhibitions i want to be writing more um i have a graphic novel idea i have a screenplay that i started in screen writing class that i want to finish and that i feel like would be valuable and that i would eventually want to direct and turn into a short film personal life i pray i still have the same friendships i have right now i I'm wise enough to know that the way that friendship shows up and looks changes from year to year. Um, people need different things at different times. People are in different phases of their life. And so my, my hope for that is not that my friendships will look the same as they do now, but that um, I will still have a place in people's lives and people will still have a place in my life. Um, and I don't know what that would look like, but that's exciting to think about moving forward. My relationship, which my babe is out right now, running running mysterious errands for me for my birthday that I don't know. He and my friends are, 
they have a group chat, a secret group chat without me. I don't know what's happening or what they're planning, but he's out running errands right now. When I think about my relationship, I wrote down, this is like a few years ago, um, cause we've been together for, it's, going, it's coming up on three years. Um, I don't know why I'm getting all emotional and teary. Oh my God. Um, but before I met him, uh, I had wrote down on a post-it note, like I basically manifested what I wanted in a relationship. I have been single for so many years. So many years. I pretty, pretty much, I would say I've been single my whole adult life. Um, and I had wrote down like everything I wanted in a partner. And it was that ambiguous because I am queer. So I was like, I don't know what gender or like, maybe they'll be non-binary. I don't know who, you know, will show up in my life. Um, but these are all the things that I want. And one major thing is somebody who um, does acts of service, someone who is caring and kind, um, but someone who can set boundaries really well and can be a warrior and a <laughs> warrior. I think I'm saying the word warrior because I just recently went to a wedding where the word warrior um, kept popping up and I was like, I wouldn't, before this, I've never put it that way, but I understand immediately what they mean by that. Um, because I really do feel like I have someone who would like fight for me, <laughs> like, um, hands down fight for me. Um, and especially when they know that my Libra self don't really love to fight especially for anything that's dealing with myself or my feelings or me being emotionally hurt by anything they yeah like so all the things i wanted and um i feel very grateful that you know the relationship i've had i feel very like loved and supported and and receiving those things um so like hopefully that continues <laughs> and we'll see what that grows into in the future. Um, we have a beautiful home together that feels like, this is the most at home I think I've felt in a long time. And I was craving a sense of home life. Um, Cause in my early twenties, when I first moved here to Minneapolis, I was just kind of like, yeah, I want to be in like, cool hip spaces I don't really care about like in terms of what my actual house or home feels like I mean I cared in terms of like I'm a artist so it was always well decorated and cute but I was never really there I was always out either at school portfolio school working um at agencies I would you know in the early years of agency life as art director um you can pretty much expect to work nine to sometimes 11 p.m. at night, sometimes 1 a.m. if it's like a pitch. That's another video I think I should make, like how I became an art director, the whole journey and what you should expect if you want to become a creative and advertiser. Yeah, my first few years of living in Minneapolis, I was just kind of run, I was always out and about. I was always at some event. I was always just running around, living my best life um, and quote unquote, or I was out partying or whatever. Like my, the freedom looked different than the ideas of freedom looked different. And I did, was way more of a, I guess like socialite. Like I would say, I can confidently say like back then I was like a socialite. Like if there was an event, I was probably gonna be at it. It dressed cute. <laughs> And now I just have no desire in the same way before. And like before, again, Libra baby, I was very like, as many friends as you know, I can make, I can make and maintain them. And then as I just kept getting older, I guess, I just was like, I have no desire to maintain a circle that huge anymore. And, and that also coincided with my career getting way more focused and, and being, being more confident in that and knowing how I work and how I want to work and what I want to work on. Um, and then also as, 
yeah, like it's just like everything just started to slow down a little bit more and then pandemic hit and then it really slow, slowed down. Like when pandemic hit, it was like, oh, all I have is like home around me. I don't want to be in this studio apartment anymore. Like, even though it's a beautiful luxury studio apartment with the most amazing window I've ever seen, I, I don't want to be here anymore. So now that fast forward over a year later, I moved in with my partner and now we're in a beautiful home and it's just like, oh my God, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? I said at some point I was going to do a tour of this house, and maybe I will. I don't know. Comment below if you want a tour of the house. I think I've shown parts of it in, video, in various videos, like you've seen probably like the living room and everything, but if you want to see that, let me know. But yeah, I think I'm just in like reflection mode right now because it's, again, coming up on 30 and I'm like, okay, next project the next five years but the is it also feels kind of pointless to do that because the one concept I do now know confidently is that I can't predict what's about to happen in the future I can't manifest what I want um so that's why I'm just like listening to all the things I do want but in terms of predicting like what it will actually be and look like I don't know that being said here's the immediate stuff in the next few months I want to get together because even though my office and everything looks set up and cute in reality there's still some stuff that have I've not figured out sticker making print making art making all of those things are things that I want to I want to reopen my shop because I don't know if anybody's noticed but my um, art shop on my website has basically been shut down since from the moment we decided we were going to move and so I yeah like I want to redo that but I don't want to reopen it with the same old stuff I want to create new prints and art um, and new stickers and all that stuff and I want to come at it stronger I think I was just kind of throwing up whatever on there but now I want to be a little bit more strategic in terms of what I'm going to be offering because I really do miss that I just miss like I loved making and packing orders, like, a lot. <laughs> like, it, the only definable feeling that I could compare it to is like, I remember when I used to like grade papers, like I was always like the kid that was trusted with grading papers um, in, you know, elementary and middle school. Like I used to like the teachers be like, here, you know, I get the red pen. That's the only thing I compare it with like, like this, the, I don't know. I just love anything that's like, okay, let me check this. Let me check that. Okay. All right. I do the thing. All right. Next. <laughs> Any, I don't even know what that's called, but like anything like that, where you can do that for like an hour or so, mm, gives me like, mm, love it. It's like when um, Jerry from Parks and Rec <laughs> was like licking those envelopes. I identify with that feeling. <laughs> I love doing it so much and hopefully as this channel grows my my shop will grow and people more people will know I'm trying to figure out better strategies of raising awareness of my art shop so that's again immediate goals and then yeah like I, I just still have so much I'm not getting less busy that's one thing that um I've noticed in the few weeks since leaving Wyden. It's not like I've gotten less busy. I've just gotten more flexible in terms of when I do certain things and, you know, what things get done to win and all that. Um, and it also, I've, I've also noticed it's like, I'm trying to not just be like, okay, well now that you have more free time, you can add more to your plate than what you were doing before. Um, because no, <laughs> I will burn out that way too. And it's like, if I'm going to do that, then I might as well have stayed and kept that dependent paycheck. And yeah, there's other stuff that's coming up that I'm, I don't know is going to make this vlog specifically. Maybe it'll make another future one. Um, but I'm going to be conducting my first 
in-house photo shoot. So again, our home is pretty much well decorated and we're gonna be using that for a brand that I've been working for for a while, which is Heritage Tees. You can link that below. Um, but we're gonna be doing like a lifestyle photo shoot downstairs in my house. And then up here I bought, I actually finally bought some studio lights and I have like the desk set up um, for photo shoots. Um, so I'm gonna be doing some like product photo shoots um, stuff in this office and we'll see how that goes because I've never claimed to be a photographer but I really would love to offer product photography as a service like you know not I'm not claiming to be like you know Sing Sing Studio but it's or like the Voorhees these are these are the places that I uphold as like oh, amazing I will I, I mean you got to start somewhere and I legitimately love photo shoots and I love um, thinking about concepts and being scrappy and figuring out how to create something beautiful on a budget for my clients. So yeah, I do this for my friend Sid, who is also her birthday. Sid the panda. Um, she's a panda. She's a my fellow Libra queen. I tried a new thing because one thing with frames that um, this is a, just a frame from Ikea, but with my square prints, I've been thinking through like what, how to frame them nicely. Cause I feel like finding the square frame in a certain size is a little bit harder than just finding rectangle ones. And so I've been thinking through like, what's a way to offer the square prints that I make for my shop update. Um, but in a way that's more friendly for uh, a rectangle frame. And so this was just like my first time experimenting with this, but just basically making border textures, like taking a part of whatever the drawing or illustration was and blowing it up texturally. I think it turned out cute. I think I'm gonna offer that as like a different version, like maybe Yes, if you want a square print, you can just get a straight up square print and it'll probably be bigger and then I will cut it down for you. Um, but if you want a square print in a eight by eight and a half by 11 um, piece of paper, then I would do this and that could be like a different option. So I'm thinking through that. <laughs> Let me know if you like that idea for an art shot. I think it's really cute. I also got commission to do a Laverne Cox uh, illustration for this company called Sourcebooks. I've done something for them before. I've been working on this book um, for this breastfeeding initiative. Um, I'm not gonna show any, it's another thing through Ramsey County and I'm not gonna show that right now, but I think that's going to probably be one of my favorite things I've ever done. Like, I think when it turns out, I just want to get into more like book illustration, more editorial illustration. So this is, that's an exciting one for me because that's very close to that. Um, I just finished a sweet Carleton works and illustrations um, for Carleton College. And I think they turned out really cool with like some animations, two of them, I put them up right here. And then I have other stuff that's very exciting, but I cannot talk about because they made me sign a long NDA, honey. And I know they got the money to sue me if I, if I spill. But yeah, like they're exciting and I can't wait to talk about it. Thank you for watching. If you like this vlog, you know what to do. Go ahead, subscribe. Hit that ding-a-ding. That ding-a-dong. That, that dong. Thank you. Art babies, this has been your art auntie, Leo. Thank you for watching. Mm-hmm. Goodbye, sugars. Have a good week. Goodbye. <laughs>